Today's Monday Makeup Lesson is part one of our Eye Shape series. In this video, we're going to be focusing on eye spacing. Now, before we get into that, if you are new here to the Makeup Chair channel and you like tutorials and learning like this, then please hit the subscribe button below. It's totally free. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Now let's get started in figuring this out. Whether you are hooded, round, or any of the other eye shapes, you still fit into one of these three eye space categories, average, close, and wide set. And it's a great thing to know, especially for beginners, and it's also very easy to find out too. Eye spacing refers to the distance between the eyes. The so-called average distance between the eyes is the length of one eye, meaning that the eyes are one eye length apart. If it's less than one eye length apart, it's referred to being close set, meaning the eyes are closer to the nose. If it's more than one eye width apart, it's referred to being wide set, meaning that the eyes have more space between them and are typically further from the nose. Knowing which eye space you fit into can help make a big difference to the way that you apply your makeup. It'll also help you better understand why certain looks will suit you and understand why it doesn't. Maybe you've recreated a look that you saw online and it doesn't look the same or it doesn't look as good as it should. This could simply be due to the fact that you're recreating a look more suited for close set when you have wide set eyes. And it's not about your technique, it's simply just that the look is going to look different. For example, I don't suit foxy eyes because my eyes are kind of wide set, but I do suit a doe eye because it adds more balance to my eyes. Saying that, don't box yourself into a category. Trying different looks out will actually help you better understand what you like. Be creative and just simply use makeup theory as a guide rather than a very strict rule book. Now that's enough talking. Let's get started in finding out which category you fit into. Now you don't need a measuring tape to measure your eyes. You can simply use your index finger and your thumb to measure or use a piece of string or paper and just mark the start and the end point of your eye. I like to use my eyelashes as a guide for this, where the eyelashes start and where they stop. Then simply place the measurement in the middle of the eyes and see where it lands. If you find that you're poking yourself in the eye, chances are you have close set eyes, meaning that your eyes are set closer together. If you find that you have some room on either side, chances are you have wide set eyes. And if it fits quite snugly right in the middle, chances are you have an average eye space. Now, just because something is referred to as average doesn't mean it's the most ideal or the most beautiful or exactly what we should be trying to do. It's really just a base point to work from. If you have average eyes, try experimenting with close set and wide set looks so you can kind of figure out what works for you. But that also goes for every eye space. Try out different looks. It'll actually help you better understand what works, what doesn't, what you like, what you don't. And once you figure out which category you fit into, it'll also help you discover other things. Like it'll help you figure out what eyebrow shape will work best for you, the type of false eyelashes that will look best. Even your eyeshadow shades, your liner shapes, and how you even apply your mascara. And as we go through the series, I want to help you better understand which ones of these are the most important and how you can make them work for you. Now, if you have any questions, you can always leave them below and I'll try and get back to you. We're going to leave it there today, but if you are struggling or you can't figure out your eye shape or anything like that, you can always message me on Instagram. It's at Katie, and I will try and get back to as many people as I can. If you like these type of videos and you're not already subscribed, then please hit the subscribe button below. And if you like this series, then I would love to hear it either in the comments or just simply hitting that like button. It really helps me understand the type of videos that you're interested in. I hope you check back soon for more uploads on this. As always, my friends, be kind to yourself. And I will see you in the next one.